all of the the roles that will surely be pouring in, are you going to continue with acting or take a break and go back to focusing on music or both? Can you take us through what you're thinking? I will definitely continue acting. I love acting. I loved acting on American Horror Story as the Countess uh, for Ryan Murphy. And I loved acting in A Star is Born for Bradley Cooper. It was a tremendous experience. Uh, and I want to continue to do more. Uh, but I am a bit spoiled. I have had some fantastic directors and fantastic visionaries. Uh, so yes, I, I will be doing more acting, but also I will be putting out more music. Uh, as I am a musician. And uh, I also have dreams of scoring for film. Uh, I, for the very first time on this soundtrack, got to conduct an orchestra for the soundtrack. And it was a magical moment for me. You know, I learned how to conduct when I was very young. And I, I'll, I'll never forget just crying, holding the, <laughs> holding the wand as I was with everyone it was it was very special and uh, shallow in particular is a song that i hold cl very close to my heart now, guys, is working on this movie inspire anything in the future for you music wise for your music career do you, feel? you know i think that with every single thing that i do you're always um influenced by not just the music or the art that you've created, but by the experience. And I was so, so inspired by all the actors, by my director, by the screenplay writers. Uh, you know, you, you just, you begin to learn more and more and more and you take that with you. So for me, yes, absolutely. It will influence my future music, uh, but that's not to say I hadn't already written some music. Uh, so uh, it will be a mixture of both. But I, I've learned so, so very much. Uh, and I, I hope that I will always be a student. You know, I think that that is where you really, you stop being a great artist when you start believing that there's nothing left to learn. There's always something to learn. And I just, I always want to be a student. And I, I think that that's how you, you master your craft, is by learning and being a sponge. Uh, following in their footsteps, well, I at first was very nervous, and uh, I did do a screen test for this film, and I remember very vividly uh, that you know Bradley requested that I have no makeup on for the screen test, and so you know I did my no makeup makeup <laughs> for it, and uh, we filmed it in my home, and I came down the stairs, and uh, Bradley, he came up to me and he went. And he looked at my face and he said, can I have a makeup wipe, please? And someone handed him a makeup wipe and he went down my face and looked at it and there was all that no makeup makeup. <laughs> and so I learned very quickly exactly what was required of me. And it was not just an outward transformation. There was an inner transformation that I had to undergo. You know. For me, I often say to people that I was born in the wrong era. You know, I, I, I hang out with Tony Bennett, you know. I, I'm really close with Sam Elliott. I, I feel like more of that time than of this time. And uh, I behave and dress and am that way, in a sense. So for Ali, I, I had to uh, be vulnerable in a way that I did not really know that I had. Uh, I had to create something within myself. And I also had to go back to an earlier time in my life. Um, but to follow in the footsteps of these women, is a, it's, it's very intimidating. And yet, what was very freeing was that I knew that the vision that Bradley had was to create a new movie, you know, a retelling and a remake of this story, but in a completely new way. So, Ali is a modern woman. And I'm, in some ways, a more nostalgic woman. So that was a real challenge for me, um, but an honor. The music which you produced and um, made with Bradley was astonishing. 
given what you guys achieved together, when's the next collaboration coming? How do you use him in your future music projects? And this is last question. Well, I don't use anyone. <laughs> um, uh, Bradley, I am convinced, will be making many future films and brilliant ones. Um, I would, of course, be very happy and lucky uh, to be working with him again. Um, but, you know, the truth is he's my friend, and I want him to create the art and cast the actresses and cast the cast the way that he wants. I will always be supportive of him in whatever way he chooses to go. And I feel the same way from him, you know. We talk about future films for me. He gives me advice. You know, he's wonderful. Um, but as far as future collaborations, I guess that's going to stay secret in a lockbox somewhere. And I, I just wanted to thank you all very much um, before I go. It was always my dream to be an actress, but to be recognized as both an actress and as a musician tonight is ex exceptionally valuable to me. And I appreciate your time and uh, your elegance. Thank you.